What's up guys, in today's Shopify tutorial, I will show you how to create smart discount pop-ups on your Shopify store. Now, creating pop-ups with discounts is actually one of the easiest ways of improving your conversion rate. So, in today's tutorial, I will show you everything needed to know to actually implement this onto your Shopify store. If you don't already have a Shopify store, I will leave you a link for a free trial down below. By using that link, you will just have to pay $1 for your first month. Either way, once you are right here, head over to the settings on the bottom left and then open up the apps and sales channel section right here and simply open up the Shopify app store. Now to actually achieve this we are going to have to look for pop up right here and then we are going to have multiple different options available which we can all use. Now as you might already know I'm usually not a big fan of adding a lot of apps onto a Shopify store because that can actually significantly decrease the loading speed of your overall store which can lead to lower conversion rates and a lot more. So actually I did some research and I have found an app which actually is pretty lightweight and doesn't really decrease the loading speed too much. Now as you can see right here there are going to be basically 800 different apps out there. There are going to be Adoric, Popups, Poptin. Then you are going to have pop-ups, Quickify. Essentially, the one app that I would recommend you to use is going to be this pop convert one right here. It is actually free to get started out with and you can use this to basically create and customize all sorts of different pop-ups and it is also super lightweight. So to get started, simply just hit the install button and then you are going to be redirected onto the actual dashboard where you will have to just grant pop up all of the information and all of the data access. So let's actually click. And this is how the dashboard now is going to look like. Right here we are going to have the overview of all of the different stuff going on. We are also going to have the quick onboarding pop up right here where we will then have to enable the app, create a first pop up and we then have to also enable our first email automation. Basically right here on the left you are then going to have all sorts of different sections. You are going to have the collect on convert section where you can then find pop-ups, smart bars, subscribers and emails. Now before we are going to dive into the pop-ups I do want to mention and I do want to highlight that these smart bars are actually also super powerful. These kind of work similar to um, announcement bars in a sense where you can just basically put in all sorts of different discounts which you want to give out and this is also a great way of actually increasing your overall contact list. Now let's rather actually head over to pop-ups right here and let's now create our first pop-up. We can actually also use the AI pop-up generator if we do want to but I'm not going to do that as I think it isn't really that advanced yet as of right now. So to get started just click on create pop-up and then we will have to enter a campaign name. I'm just going to name this pop-up number one and we will then have to select a goal. So as this is going to be a smart pop-up we are going to have all sorts of different options. First of all get subscribers then traffic to URL, announcement, coupons and social shares. Now in this case I'm just going to say that okay the overall goal is going to be to get new subscribers onto our email list. However we can then actually also select coupons right here. So actually if you would want to create a smart discount pop-up you could either just select coupon right here or you could for example say that okay we are going to select subscribers right here and in return for people signing up we are then actually going to give out a coupon. But actually let's just select coupon and let's now click on create right here. We are then going to see the pop up right here on the right and we can then actually customize everything. So first off if we do want to remove the watermark we can completely do this by just clicking on this right here and then the chat will open up and then you will just have to go through the different kind of steps which you are going to get in the live chat so you can actually remove the watermark. Then you are also going to have the text right here as well as the email put in and you can then actually also see the coupon code right here which also is super neat. Now we can then actually also set the goal, design, content, settings, display and conversion right here. Let's actually now head over to design. Let's now actually change this up. I think I will just leave this as white. We can then change the main title color to something different. So let's just go with this kind of greenish thing. Let's also change this or actually let's just change this back to black. I think like this, this does look way better. And we can then actually also upload a background image if we do want to or we can actually change the font 
family. So if you for example have a store which is in the Interfont family, you can simply just select it right here and now the store and now the pop-up is going to be successfully updated. Now I would highly recommend you to actually do this because like this, this is just going to give your customers a way more premium branded feel for your store. We can then change the overlay opacity, so basically how visible the pop-up model is going to be. We can change the pop-up padding and we can actually also change the max width. As for the hero layout, if we do want to, we can change this around. Now, I'm not a big fan of this, I'm just going to leave it at the default and we can then actually also change the button background color if we do want to and we can also change the button text color and so on. Let's now actually head over to content right here. So right here we can then change the text we can then actually update the form. So by default, this is only going to show the email. However, we can also fully customize this. We can, for example, also say that, okay, the name should be added right here. And we can then also change the order by simply just dragging this around. In this case, I'm also going to enable the phone number. As for the submit button, I'm just going to rename this to get your 10% off. And then we can actually also set the coupon right inside PopConvert. To do that, click on right here and then the code right here is going to show up. So I'm just going to say that this is going to be named 10% off email list. And this is then also going to be visible for our email subscribers. Additionally, we can change up the divider if we want to and we can also change the text right here on the bottom. One thing which I would also recommend you to do is to actually update the social networks right here accordingly with your own social networks, with your own social media accounts. You can then actually, however, also add new blocks onto this. So one thing which I really like is that you are going to have the option to basically add this timer right here. So now we could just drag this on top and now this is going to right here actually show a timer which is then going to basically add some scarcity to actually fill this out as soon as possible and you can even further customize this by adding a sticker video divider text button spacer and a lot more under the general settings right here you can then say when this widget should be displayed i would recommend you to just keep this at 30 seconds for 60 seconds something like that we can then actually also select that okay after closing how long should we wait to actually show this again? I will change this to three days and we can then actually also enable exit intent if we do want to. So basically this will then, basically this will just make it so that this pop-up is going to show up whenever someone tries to close the tab, which also is pretty useful. Now under GDPR compliance, you can basically select if you're, basically this is going to be applicable if you are in the EU, make sure to just select it right here so that you are going to be on the safe side when it comes to legal stuff. Under display, you can then change the button trigger, basically the uh, thing right here. You can, for example, change this. You can also play around with the overall alignment of this. You can see this right here on the left. This is basically just going to be a, a trigger option for this exact pop-up. We can then see the display schedule, display pages, and we can actually also change the display location if we want to. As for conversion, this is basically just going to be um, the actual I guess success message which is going to show after someone has put in their information and under email you can then actually also create an email automation to automatically send out email which you can then use to basically promote different kind of products and so on. Now overall using PopConvert is a great way of actually giving out custom smart discounts which can then on the long run actually improve your revenue by quite a bit. And also, I currently give out my Shopify course for completely free. It's a complete game changer for anyone doing e-com. So I will leave you a link down below. Make sure to take advantage of that right now. So actually, that's it for today's tutorial. As always, if you do have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments down below and I will try to get back to you as soon as possible.